Hey y'all. My name is Haley. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post a lot of DIY projects, um, style tips, and the occasional Photoshop graphic type tutorial. But today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make your own presets because it can be done. Presets are expensive and nobody wants to pay for that ish when you could just do it yourself. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, as a bonus at the end of the video, I am offering y'all two free presets. So I'm also going to be showing y'all how to download those and how you can get those and actually use them on your photos, which is actually really easy. So stick around, learn how to make presets, get two free presets, and let's do it. So to create your own preset, what you're going to want to do is go to Lightroom. It's going to bring you to this page here. You're going to press this button in the bottom right hand corner with the plus sign and bring in a photo, which I've already done. So let's just pretend that I'm bringing in a photo. It's going to bring you here to your imported photos. You're going to click on the photo that you just imported. So as you can see here, you're going to have all of these different options at the bottom. It can get kind of complicated, but I'm just going to show you what I do to create a preset. So the first thing that I start with is light. And you have this option in the top right hand corner of this little toolbar to mess with the curve. This can do some pretty cool stuff. But to be honest with you, I never really mess with this just because it seems kind of complex and drastic. So I don't really mess with that. Um, if you've applied something that you don't like, like I have here, you can press the back button in the top in the middle. So I'm just going to erase all of those that I had just set. Whoops. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to come down here to light and you're just going to start playing around. Um, honestly, there's no magic trick or magic rule as far as I know. I honestly just play around with it every time until I find something that I like. But for this, I'm kind of going for kind of like a vintage -y summer type of vibe. So I'm just going to try to play into that. But these highlights and shadows really affect your picture a lot. As you can see, the drastic difference between each different side of the slider, but I'm just going to bring mine down quite a bit. Um, shadows, let's see. I think I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Okay, so once you kind of get the lighting the way that you want, I'm going to move over here to color. Here you have your temperature, your tint, your vibrance, and your saturation. So I'm just going to play around once again with these. And if you are sliding this along here and you realize, ooh, I don't like it either way, I like it just the way it was, to put it just right back in the middle, when you're holding your phone in your hand, you'll kind of feel it vibrate when that slider clicks right back into the middle. So in the top right hand corner of this toolbar, you have a selection option called Mix. This allows you to change each individual color that's in your picture. And honestly, this is probably my favorite tool in Lightroom because it really allows you so much freedom to change things from your pictures. So if you can see my lips are probably like the only thing in this photo that's really red. So watch as I change the saturation here. You can see the drastic differences and the power that you have to change certain colors. Let's say if you were to you know, take a photo and you really like the photo, you really like everything about it, but there's just one thing in the picture that you cannot stand. It's like a bright orange sign in the background. In Lightroom, you would be able to select the color of whatever it is in your picture that you don't like and just push the saturation all the way down or just play around with it. So I'm just going to play around here for a minute. So the next option along your bottom toolbar here is effects and this just gives you a lot of different things that you can play around with. I don't mess with these a lot because as you can see they kind of, yeah, I don't know. The one that I do like is grain and I really like to apply grain to pictures but only certain photos usually because as you can see in this picture, one thing that I feel like I really like about this picture is just the way that my skin looks. It's smooth. The light is bouncing off of it. I have a little bit of a natural glow here from sweat. Love that. But if I apply the grain, then it's going to kind of take that away. So in this particular photo, I'm not going to. But sometimes I like to apply grain to a preset that I've already made just to give me, 
you know, like the same preset, but with a different twist on it, which actually is exactly what I'm going to do with the two presets that I'm going to offer at the end of this video. So next I'm going to move along here to detail and I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. I usually apply this particular effect. If you get a vibe that you like, but it, you're not completely satisfied, you can just play around to kind of refine the effects that you've already applied. Because a little bit of anything really can be a drastic difference. So once you get it set to the way that you like, in order to save it as a preset, come up here to the three dots in the corner, create preset, name it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say YouTube trial. Um, you're going to select which preset group that you want it in. If you want to create a new preset group, you can, and then you can save that to that group. You're going to want to make sure that here you click select, select all, that way that you get all of the settings and they're all applied. Okay, check. So now you have your preset saved. I'm just going to show this to you. Come in here, select picture. Okay, we're just going to go with this ratchet picture here. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. So you're going to come and bring in a new photo presets. Select this little arrow that allows you to pull up this menu of all the different presets. Select your new preset group that you just created, YouTube. Select your preset and it will apply it. Okay, this was not the best example because that is not cute. But you get the point and you have a lot of creative flexibility. Now I'm going to show you the presets that I'm going to be offering at the end of this video. I'm just going to show you some before and afters here. So these are all of the pictures that I've used these presets for and I will just show you some before and afters here. So as you can see, these presets are pretty drastic and I really like the vibe of these. It's just kind of like a vintage summery feel. It's really, really nice. I really like this preset. So what you have to do to get the presets that I have already made, you simply just click on the link that's in the description. There's two presets, skin and summer, and then skin and summer with grain. So you just click on the preset that you want. It's going to take you into Lightroom. So you already need to have the Lightroom app. It's going to take you to this page right here. You're going to click these little three dots up in the corner, save as preset, and it's going to add it to your presets. So then you're going to want to get out of that, go to your library over here in the left, click this button with the picture and the plus button, import from camera roll. You're going to click on the picture that you want to add the preset to, scroll over here to presets. Now it's going to come up under color, so you need to press the color with the down arrow and you're going to have all of these options. At the bottom there's going to be saved presets and these are your saved presets which is going to have the one that you just saved, Skin and Summer. So then I will just simply apply it <coughs> and that's it. So now you have this preset saved to your Lightroom. So you can import any pictures that you want. There you go. If you have any issues getting the presets or getting them downloaded or using them comment and let me know and I will help you out. If you use these presets on any pictures on Instagram or anything, tag me. I would love to see y'all using these presets. Please give this video a thumbs up. Bye!